Uh, hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Today I have an accumulated haul from Great Lakes Lacquers to swatch and share with you. This is one of my favorite indie brands and this haul has kind of been everything that I've gotten from Christmas from family and everything that I've purchased from then till now. So we have enough for a swatch of rum here and I am so excited to share these with you. I will leave the maker site down below. I know that she will be busy until she's back from Polish and Beauty Expo this weekend. So if you're there, definitely come and say hi. But I know her shop is going to be down until then at least. So if you want to check her out, definitely go back and do so at a later time. But for now, let me just show you all the beauties that I got in the past six months or so. Five of these were available on her site the last time her site was open, and five of these were discontinued or limited items. So without further ado, let's just roll into the beautiful swatches. This first one is a super shifter going from that beautiful blue color into a purple, into a red, into like a glowing golden bronzy tone. And it is full of linear hollow. This one is called Ease One Life the Aching. Let's try it on the wheel. Let's go right on in with that first coat. The coverage on this seems pretty amazing as well. Such a pretty hollow. I don't know that I have ever seen a multi-chromatic shifty hollow like this. These were just too cool. And let's go in for a second coat. That is stunning. Such a pretty polish. And here is the shift. So cool. This next one is also a super shifter from the same collection. It's also a blue, but this one is more of an oceanic blue, a lighter blue, and the last one seemed deeper, more like a purple or violet leaning blue, but let's look at the shifts on this. It definitely does shift into a purple and even into that same golden color and even greens on extreme angles. This one is absolutely stunning and again with that hollow finish. This one's called Like Air, I'll Rise. Let's try it on the wheel. First coat. These really are just so amazing. The hollow of course is stunning in there. And I absolutely love the color on this one. Super pretty. Let's go in with a second coat. More of that stunning rainbow. And let's look at the shifts. Ooh, so pretty. From a cool tone to a warm tone. This one goes more golden and this one goes a bit more red. This next one feels more like a berry tone or a purple or at least the shimmer starts at that purpley pink color. All of the polishes have a red shift but this one takes it one step further than the last two. It does go into the red and the gold and the green, but this one at extreme angles does even hit the blue shift. Again, with the amazing hollow, this one is called the center cannot hold. Let me show you the shifts. Starting down here, it kind of looks like that berry tone. And as we move out of the berry tone, we get that golden tone and even this green and extreme angles. Super shifty. Let's try it on the wheel. Let's just go right on in for our first coat. Definitely it looks very pink on the wheel. Super glowy. Let's go in with a second coat. So pretty. 
And here are all of those lovely shifts on those polishes. They're all just so pretty and ultra shifty. They really are such cool polishes. This next one is a beautifully glowy, shimmery polish. This one also has some really nice shifts. The base of the shimmer here is a gold, but it does go into a green to a blue to a purple on extreme angles. And it's in a slightly browned off beige type of tone base. Really pretty. This one is called What's in Your Hot Cocoa, and this one was a small batch. First go. Really pretty, a nude tone of some sort. Definitely in the neutral category there. Really nice shimmer, and of course in those extreme angles, it's going to be so glowy and shifty. Let's go in with a second coat. It is just so nice. It almost has a champagne-y look to it. Let's look at the shifts. You can definitely see all of that hollow twinkling. The shift in this one is a little bit shy when it comes to the flash, but in the lower lighting, it definitely gives that green to blue to purple to pink. And it is definitely really pretty hard to capture extreme angles sometimes, but that glow is definitely really interesting. The next one is a really beautiful dusty peach kind of color. Really interesting base. It's got this super glowy shimmer and when you take the flash off, you get a little bit more of a shift element. Let me show you that. So this one does go from this pinky color into a red, into an orange, into a gold, and then into a green at the utmost extreme angles. You get a little bit of that bluish green tone. This one is super beautiful, called Kaka what? Let's try this on the wheel. First coat. Definitely really pretty and glowy. I feel like this one would make such a cute skittle with the last one. Both of these together, they kind of have a similar base. They look a little bit more different in real life. Um, this one leans a little bit more brown, whereas this one leans a little bit more peach. Maybe we'll see that in a second coat. That definitely brings the true color forth and you definitely see the difference, but I still think that would make a pretty cute skittle. So pretty. That is just so glowy. It's like a glowing melon tone almost. Super pretty. This one does have a bit of sheerness to allow the shimmer to build up, so let's go in for a third coat just to give it a final look. Wow, isn't that stunning? Let's take a look at the shifts. This one definitely has some shiftability to it. Again, it looks a lot better in the lower lighting, so let me just show you. Again, from that pink to orange to gold, and then in the extreme angles, you get a little bit of green. Again, kind of difficult to capture the extreme angle here on camera, but from that pink into such a fiery glow, it is just so shifty and pretty. This next one is from the same collection. You definitely see all that juicy, shifty pigment in there. This one is that greenish blue into indigo kind of Aurora shimmer that I love so much. And this one is called Should We Maybe Just Cook Him? Here in the extreme angle of the bottle, you get to see that 
greenish blue shift into that bluish pinky hue super pretty and here you can see the shift super strong shifty element in this one let's try it on the wheel first coat And on the wheel, this one looks great in one coat. Oh my goodness, at the amount of shimmer. So beautiful. This one kind of reminds me of Summertime Watermelon Everything and Make Mine Mango. It's kind of like those two polishes I had a baby with the shimmer of the Summertime Watermelon Everything. I love this polish. Let's take a look at the shifts. From this nice bluish green into that blue, into that like indigo pinkish purple tone. Such a beautiful polish with so much shiftability. Beautiful. This next one is another beautifully glowy and shimmery polish. This one is actually a Facebook group custom from the Rainbows and Unicorn P group. Such a pretty shimmer in here. Oh my goodness. This one is called Michigan Winter Sunsets. And you can see the pinkish golden glow here going into a yellow gold into almost a green tone. Let's take a look at the shifts. The base tone is definitely that fiery reddish orange color that does kind of simulate the sunset vibe and going into the lighting we get a little bit of that golden color. It does shift into a much lighter gold tone and the green in the extreme angles is very minimal but it goes from this beautiful fiery color into this beautiful golden tone. Let's go right on in with our first coat. That is already pure shifting goodness. That is stunning. Such a warm glow within that white. Definitely such a beautiful polish for the inspiration. Definitely nailed it with this one. Let's go in for a second coat. That is just beautiful. I cannot wait to get that on the nail so so glowy let me show you the shift going from that glowy pinkish orange tone into a yellowish gold tone super pretty it almost makes the white base look blue really kind of rainbowy gorgeous the next one is an ultra shifty topper this one goes from this pinky purple tone into that kind of reddish tone into a gold and into a greenish blue. This one's ultra rainbowy and shifty. This one is called Spring Forward. Let's try it on the wheel. Let's see it on the wheel. Ooh. Those flakes are just so glowy so pretty and here are the shifts isn't that crazy how shifty the flakes are the next one is from the same topper trio this one is called glass on and the flakies again are really rainbowy and wild the base here seems almost like a blue, but let's take a look at the shift. Going from that like bluish tone, ooh, into a green, into a pink at extreme angles. That is so pretty. Let's try this one on the nail. Going right on in with that. So pretty. That one is very opalescent looking. Wow, Jemmy. So let's take a look at those shifts again. 
the green element in the shift is really giving with these flakies. Super pretty. And this last one is the last one in the topper trio. This one is called Lake Effect 2.0, and this one looks to be some iridescent blue to green flakies. Let's take a look at the shifts. Going from the greenish blue into that pinkish purple. So pretty. Lovely. Let's try it on the wheel. And let's go right on in with that. Again, super pretty, really nice shifts, and definitely has a ethereal, fairy-like vibe to it. So pretty. Let's take a look at the shift. Going from that glowing greenish blue into that pinky purple tone. I love how transformative and glowy these toppers are. Oh my goodness. They were a gift, and I am so grateful for them. So, so beautiful. And here are all of those beauties here together. Really beautiful polishes. I absolutely love her formula and can't wait to get these polishes on my nails. So, so many pretty ones. And I really feel like Mariah, the artisan making these polishes, is just that. She is very artisanal in her style of making, and every polish here, as you saw, has some sort of beautiful shifting element. Her polishes just really speak to me. Her shop should be open again soon. I assume it will be open again after Polish and Beauty Expo this Sunday. So super excited for that. If you're going to be there, let me know. I would love to see everybody there. But if you've enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a like. That may also help other polish lovers find this content. And if you would like more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you back. I've so enjoyed having you here today and hope to see you in the next one. But until next time, friends, thanks for hanging with me.